Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we are playing Mallorca away in the league and we're actually rolled into 2023 now within the game. We've just passed the new year mark. So what that means is that the transfer window is now open. We have had a look at some of the regens and I've got some interest in some of the players in mind. There's one in particular that's not actually in our youth squad but is a free agent I believe. So we're looking to sign him but um, obviously I'll wait till that either goes through or they decline it and let you know who that was in any update. Going into today, maybe a couple of changes Mandanda's going to be in goal today Zirkzi up top Carlos Perez on the right Zirkov at left back uh, Omar Ajik's come in centre defence but other than that a full strength lineup. and what I don't want to do is just buy lots of players or sign up lots of players because you've got to manage the not just the transfer budget but the salary budget and then if you've got too many players you're just never going to use them and I've got a very good squad at the moment most of our players get regular game time and then you've got a, a couple on these sort of outskirts like Bellarabi, who may get a game now and again. And of course, what we do want to do is, you know, we do want to keep those youngsters coming through and um, potentially put them out on loan. The odd one where I think, actually, I'm not, I don't really want to keep them on long term, you can make some money off them, right? which is when you get into this stage of the game, it's, it's one of the best ways of making money, really. In fact, sometimes it's one of the only ways of making money. So you've got to find that balance though. I just don't want to have like, you know, a massive squad. Because you want room for any massive players. Like if you spot a player that you really want and you've already filled up your squad. Um, kind of screw yourself a little bit. But there's Martinelli now anyway. Perez. Martinelli. Perez again. Oh, out for a corner. Maybe overplayed it a little bit. Just wide. Is that Zixi? I think it was Zixi. First sort of half chance of the match there. Yeah, Zig off the uh, the regen in at left back today, just to give Backer a bit of a rest. It's a poor pass from Perez, but it still gets through. It's Martinelli through to Xerxes. Oh, good save. The defender was on me, so I did well to get the shot away. Decent save, though. I would have expected to score that, probably, really. Um, here's Herrera. Oh, it's a free kick. I was going to say it looked like a foul, but... Um, don't often get those. He was tattled by a couple of players actually. Now this is almost a little bit too close. Um gonna go for it though. Oh yep. Yeah. Just not quite um did well to get it around the wall. Just not aiming into the corner enough, maybe not enough power. And first chance of the match to Mallorca, and they've scored. Laps in concentration there. Acres of space to play that ball. I brung Mandanda out. I think it was the right thing to do, but didn't really uh, get anywhere near stopping it. Well, there's our clean sheet gone. Definitely a turn up for the books there. Plenty of time though, so no need to panic or anything like that. One of the players I'm looking into who I'll, I'll let you know who it is a little bit. Oh, hang on. Ah, a little bit too strong. Yeah, but I am looking at a defensive midfielder, an out and out defensive midfielder. Because we've got a lot of central midfielders. Um, but I'm looking at for an out and out. I mean, Herrera does a great job. But he's 
naturally a centre midfielder. So yeah, it's a regen anyway. Sexy. Nice ball to Morinelli. Just manages to get there. Now Zerkov. Oh my word, what a finish. That's the second stunner he scored this season. Morinelli plays it back and it's with his weaker right foot. Laced it in past the keeper. That's a good angle. Brilliant finish. Like I say, he scored a, he scored a stunner a few games back. I can't remember exactly when it was. Um, so he's he's definitely pushed Teixeira into third spot for that left back position. Ideally, I'd like to get Teixeira to go out on loan. I'm not really sure I want to sell him. But we haven't had any bids in for him. I'm sure I did put him up for loan at the start of the season. After we signed uh, Zergov. Six, eight. Nice play there. Into Martinelli. Nice play to Herrera. Yeah, I haven't seen much of him. Oh, Nelly threw it him. Nice play to Xerxes. Oh, good save. It's just hardly any space. Finally managed to get the uh, a tiny gap. And Xerxes did well to, to get that on target. Xerxes. Oh, it's wide again. That was a good chance there. First one was a little bit difficult off the corner, but that one was a very decent chance. Should be hitting the target. Back level, though, that's the main thing. Oh, really nice play there. <laughs> Great play. Lovely pass in between Zerxi and Perez. Vieira started all, split the defence open. Lovely flick from Xerxes. A great finish. Martinelli with the ball back through. It's a lot of pass to keep it. Yeah, sorry, I did say Perez before with the 1 2, it was Martinelli. And that's what Vieira could do. He set it all up, that defence split and pass. In the first place, he's so good at that. Nice play there. Uh, tried to play it back to the air, it was just a bit too soft. Nice header from the ball. Oh, first time shot on the volley it was worth a try keeper did well it was just dipping in front of him that's poor well, well it went intercepted by the defence there but uh, yeah, it was a poor pass good tackle from Omar Ajik. bursting forward and then he loses the ball and there's half time, managed to turn it around in the end. Two very good goals has got us uh, the lead in this match after that surprise opening for Mallorca, their only attempt on goal. See Zirkov with an amazing strike. Nice 
play here. Just trying to find an opening. It's hard to find any space with this uh, against this team. And uh, sort of double man marking at the moment. Some of the players. Nice play from there, splitting there. Oh, come on, ref. It was a very good attack by Herrera. Doing his job. As usual, we'll get punished for it. Emerson bursting forward now. Need to see that more from him. Ah, oh, Zerg, he halted his run. Why did he do that? It was a perfect pass, and Xerxes just slowed down for a second. No idea why. Certainly wasn't me, I was trying to run under the ball. Now Herrera. Herrera! Oh, wide. That would have been some strike. Obviously, try and make some subs. Probably the next time the ball goes out. Oviera, Mortonelli, Zixi. Oh, hit the post. Oh, unlucky. From a tight angle, managed to beat the keeper. Good tackle from Om Rajik there. Nice play. Oh, good save from the keeper. How we haven't got a third, I'm not sure. Been so close a couple of times. That was not a good kick from Mandana. Not even sure I'm going to get make any subs at this rate. Doesn't look like it. Good save from Mandara, but that could have gone anywhere. I think we'll, we'll make some subs, even though there's only, what, 19 minutes left. So, Xerxes is going to come off for Mudrick. Mudrick's going to switch to the left and Martinelli up top. Carlos Perez will come off. Kang and Lee will go on the right wing, which he doesn't normally play. And we're going to bring on Alex Mariba in for Fabio Vieira. Change that to a centre midfield as well. Yeah, these guys haven't got long to make an impact, but very good players to bring on. And uh, switching Martinelli up top. He's a very good centre forward as well. I just I like him on that left, left wing position normally. Nice play for Mudrick here. Subs getting involved early. Oh, great save. It was practically behind him. Mariba, and there it is. 3 1. Subs combining. Kang and Lee with the assist, and a lovely finish from Mariba there. Great save from the keeper initially. It's come back into Kang and Lee. Nice ball. It's just a fantastic touch and then right in the bottom corner. That should make the game safe now. And this is an absolute calamity in the last sort of 13 minutes or so. Nice play though. Modric. Mortonelli. Kang and Lee. Nice, nice little touch from uh, Mariba there. Oh, 
Really nice play. Kang and Lee should have scored. It's a decent save, but it was pretty much straight at him. That's my one concern about Kang and Lee. Just doesn't score enough. He gets in very good positions. And just doesn't make the most out of the opportunities. Good play there, though. On oh, it's wide. You really expect Martinelli to score there. That's bread and butter for him. Nice play by Kang and Lee. That's what he's good at. He's good at the passing and the movement and getting in good positions. Just the finishing is uh, a little bit off. I'm sure that will improve in time. Oh, nice play to Mudrick there. And he manages to keep it well. Marie there for a second. Oh, just wide. And again, that really should have been hitting the target. Nice play, though. The subs have made a massive difference. The quality certainly stepped up. Back into him. I should be out for the throw unless it's full time. And that will be full time. Great result though after being 1 0 behind. Xerxes get a man of the match. I, I honestly don't really know who I'd say was man of the match. I think the subs make a ma massive difference. Marie Bear getting a 7, Lee Kang and getting a 6.5. Totally agree with that. Martinelli was very good. So yeah, probably just about right. But it was just the fact that we've managed to turn it around from being 1-0 behind. And that Zirkov goal really started all off. So him getting a 7, really not a surprise. He looked very threatening in that game. And as you can see, the youngster, the region that I was talking about is Fernandinho. Obviously, he used to play for Man City. Signed him an out-and-out -out defensive midfielder. I think he's going to be a great one for the future. So he's joined the club now. Free transfer. He wasn't in the youth squad, but he wasn't associated with any club. Just to let you know, Ibrahimovic, Messi, there's a couple of others. They've actually now joined uh, the regens, but... They're already at clubs, and as you can imagine, even though their stats won't be as good as what they were when just before they retired, they're worth a lot of money already, money that I can't afford. But the next match is in the Copa del Rey, and there may be some other transfer news in between that point, so obviously I'll keep you up to date if anything happens, or if we look to loan out any players, make any transfer signings, etc. Join us then, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.